Good morning guys, Prafil here. Welcome back. Thanks for joining in. Today is the 10th of November, the second weekly expiry of this month. And uh, just let me go on a record and tell you this, that Indian market mein jo option sellers hai, they are just blind. They are just crazy. Okay? Why am I telling this? Look at the time. Alright? The time is just 9.30. Okay? 9.45 time chal raha hai. And the straddle on an 18,000 based index is trading at around 70 rupees. 70 rupees pe index ka cradle price chal raha hai for, you know, with the entire day to go. Okay? It's just insane at what prices these 920 straddles wale aake matlab in premiums ko short kar raha hai. So people think that, okay, expiry mein jo paisa hai, it's almost like a free money. So everyone is fucking coming and trying to hop on this train and the premiums are absolutely rubbish. Especially on the put side, okay? Call side is also okay. We have gap down and the global sentiment is slightly negative and uh, day high is also day top. Bhi ban chuka hai. So okay, I accept that, okay, 18,150 calls which are currently at this level. So probably they trading at around 6 rupees, it's completely okay. I might accept that. But 17,950 puts, bhai, around 70 points dur ka puts around trading at 9 rupees. So I would never accept this. But... Uh, of course, like I have very tight risk criteria today. Agar 50,000 rupees hit hota hai negative mein, I'll be cutting the positions today because I have no, absolutely no intentions to trade on these kinds of shitty premiums. To talk about the current positions, I'm currently on um, 18,150 and part 17,950 strangle. So all my calls are at 18,150 and the puts are spread across 17,950 and 900. So these puts come with a stop loss and I'll be exiting them somewhere around 12. And when 12 reach, hota hai, toh I'll be taking them, taking them and uh, shifting them to 17,900. So I'll be very careful around the 18,000 levels because these option premiums that are trading so low premiums, pe trade kar rahe, these 17,950, they are all trading based on the assumption that 18,000 levels are going to hold. So if 18,000 levels are hold nahi karega, to there will be a havoc that's going to get created in the put side. So let's see how the market turns out. And I'll keep you guys up updated. As of now, the mark to market is in the red zone. Time is 10 to 12. And looking at the premiums and uh, looking at how blindly the people are shorting these premiums, I have absolutely no interest to play this game. So, I have positions closed all positions. And I just unhedged positions. If you see that, I usually trade at 9,000, 10,000 quantities. But today, I'm trading with just 3,600 quantities. And I would keep this size unless I find a spike where I can capitalize on that spike. Okay? So, um, this is the first time in a long, long time, probably the last two years or so, I've never played an expiry unhedged. Okay? No matter how bad the premiums were, I still went on to play with the full quantity and I managed my risk. But today, the discomfort is slightly on the higher end because the market is hovering around 18,000 levels and the moment 18,000 gets taken out, there will be all sorts of short covering in either on either side. I'm not saying that I won't go full quantity again, but uh, depending upon the spikes and depending upon where I get an opportunity to actually capitalize on the you know spikes, I would uh, take that decision and I'd target that. But if you look at this, Look at this, even with this quantity, okay, even with this quantity, and if I manage to collect somewhere around 20 points, it would still lead to somewhere around 0.6, for the day. I mean, I'm absolutely happy to take that. Another reason why I'm kind of reducing the position is I didn't get a good start, okay? So these 18, 200 calls, which I was supposed to get at somewhere around 8 rupees or 8 and a half rupees, I ended up getting at 6 and a half rupees. And similarly, the puts also, puts maybe kafi ghatiya prices mile. So... That is why if you look at the one minute chart here, or two minute chart for that matter, mujhe kahi yaha pe mujhe entry milna chahi da 8, 9 rupees ke andar, but mujhe entry mila around 6 rupees, 5.8 rupees ke aspas. So, that is why I'm not very keen on, you know, taking on bigger risks, because I didn't get the head start that I intend to get. So, thik hai, dekhenge kya hota hai, even now, this 20 points, even if I grab around 15 points out of this, I would say, well done for the day. And uh, so all right guys, time is 1.47 and uh, one of the most horrible expiries that's going on in my way. And um, that's, 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 that's nothing to do with the markets and it's everything to do with my own approach because I sized down at the wrong time and then after I got around 7 or 8 points of DK, then at the low IV point, I sized up 
एंड देन आफ्टर दैट द मार्केट बिकेम वोलेटाइल मैंने यहाँ पे साइज किया था मैंने द मार्केट वेंट कम्प्लीटली साइड वेस एंड मैंने यहाँ पे मैंने साइज अप किया फिर से फुल क्वांटिटी ऐड किया एंड द मार्केट फर्स्ट हिट माई कॉल स्टॉप लॉस एंड देन हिट माई पुट स्टॉप लॉस एंड ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ नॉन सेंस एंड देन आफ्टर द मार्केट बिकेम लाइक सुपर वोलेटाइल देन इट मेक मी a little uncomfortable to actually you know hold on to those premiums and again like lot of stop losses hitting left and right on 18050 calls and 7950 puts both sides so because of which i'm unable to make any progress throughout the day bas yahi pe baitha hu main plenty of mistakes from my end and mostly from the psychological aspect because itna kam premiums mujhe hazam nahi ho raha tha and um, i thought okay the there will be some spike but the spike didn't come when i was expecting and when i did put on the extra size on my position that is when the spike came and jo bhi gains kiya tha wo wapas chala gaya and lot of you know uh, i'm trading from a point of fear here to mere thoda dar se trade kar raha hu because the premiums are so less ki ek 30 40 point ka candle can completely you know uh, wreck havoc to the uh, entire day so that's why i'm operating from from a place of fear here so that is why i'm not able to capitalize and i'm, I'm i accept that ठीक है, आई एम ऑपरेटिंग फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट ऑफ फियर करके बट नंद द आइडिया इज जस्ट लाइक पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट भी आ गया ऑन अ डे लाइक दिस आई एम हैप्पी बिकॉज देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट यू कॉन्ट कंट्रोल राइट वन थिंग इज दैट इट्स योर साइकोलॉजी तो अगर आपका मन ऐसे बोल रहा है कि चलो भाई अगर एक स्पाइक आएगा तो एकदम आपका धज्जे उठ जाएगा तो यूल बी लिटिल फियरफुल दैट्स वॉट्स हैपनिंग लेट्स आई गिव यू गाइज पोस्टेड करेंटली आई एल बी टेकिंग स्टॉप लॉस ऑन दिस कॉल्स and probably moving away on 18 100 calls but i'll be holding up until until 9 9 rupees pe mujhe isko nikal ke next strike pe dalna padega agar upar breakout bhi mil jayega to probably i'll have to immediately exit on this exit from these calls all right the time is 308 and uh, it's been one of the most frustrating expiries personally speaking because maine jo position sizing se jo uh, यू नो बिकॉज मैंने जो पोजिशन साइजिंग से जो एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन की थी इट यूज टू वर्क वेल ऑन फिर निफ्टी बट ऑन निफ्टी इट काइंड ऑफ पुस्ट मी इन टू द जोन ऑफ फ्रस्ट्रेशन आई वेंट ऑन एडिंग ऑन टू द एटीन थाउजेंड पुट ऑप्शन एंड दैट सम हाउ हेल्प मी ठीक है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर वॉज नथिंग दैट आई कोड मेक टूडे अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इट्स हॉरिबल हॉरिबल एक्सपायरी लॉर्ड ऑफ मिस्टेक्स एस्पेशली वो जो एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन किया मैंने साइज के साथ दैट वॉज द वन विच एक्चुअली हर्ट मी but uh, yeah since it was my first day of experimentation i think uh, i'll give myself the benefit of the doubt but nonetheless i'd still be ending at somewhere around another 1 rupee yahan pe bacha hua hai and most probably i'll be ending somewhere around uh, 0.8% 0.85% of the capital around 90 lakhs capital use hua hai aapka expiry kaisa hua comments mein batao for me it was one of the frustrating expiries in the recent times because i was not able to make even a single rupee till 3 o'clock main aapko mark to market dikha raha tha na the mark to market was heading nowhere and it added to my frustration and probably it's uh, because i was operating from a point of fear today theek hai so usually kya hota hai a trader should never operate from a place of fear theek hai theek hai he should not operate from a place of over confidence also but more importantly he should never operate from a place of fear because what that does is it clusters his mind and he will not be able to take the rational decisions and today the exact same thing happened with me i was not able to take the rational decisions jo bhi maine adjustments kiya tha it was completely emotional adjustments jo main kar raha tha it was a little frustrating i'm not i'm going to be very honest with you guys and yeah take care have a good weekend i'll see you guys in my next trading video bye bye